I think you're, we're all very lucky to have Hafa here to speak with us. So with you, Hafa Vasconcelos from Facebook. Welcome to the Hello, hello, good evening. How are you doing? Good? Okay. So thanks, Fifa, for the introduction. I didn't know about this. I didn't know about people saying good things about me. So they are probably lying. Uh, so I have, I think I have one hour? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. One hour starting right now. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the stuff that I believe regarding creativity. And I will use Facebook and Instagram, which are the work that I do today, as an example of the thing that I believe that I think I have something to share uh, for all of you. So I, I run a team on Facebook uh, that is called Creative Shop. We are a group of people, a group of creative people uh, that can people that come from from agencies, from <laughs> clients, from uh, I don't know a bunch of different places, and I'm responsible for the Latin region. So I take care of uh, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, Miami, which are the places that we have offices in the region, and. Mainly, I work helping agencies and brands understand Facebook creatively. That's the thing that I do. Because Facebook is a thing that changes very often, and agencies in general, they don't like the changing stuff behavior very much. So I'm the one who tries to translate the innovation uh, for, for agencies and, and brands. The thing is that Brands are starting to get very interested in Facebook and the way Facebook thinks about creativity, so we have some work to do. And some months ago, we acquired Instagram. Most of you probably use more Instagram than Facebook. Uh, and we also take care of Instagram for brands. So the work that I do is for brands on Facebook and brands on Instagram. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna ever work for WhatsApp or whatever platform that Facebook builds or buy, but that's the stuff that today we are doing, okay? So the thing that I, that I chose to talk to you today is, is a thing that I believe which is that I believe that we are, we didn't actually have understood what it is to have social ideas or creative ideas in the time that we live now. That's the thing I believe. So that's, for me, is a huge opportunity for new talents like you guys to come to this party. Because there's no such thing as someone who understands and gets digital as it is nowadays. But uh, the stuff that we do today, there's so much potential underneath what we do. But in order to get this opportunity, we need to have a new group, a new set of skills as creators. I don't think people understand this. That's that's why I, I wanna I will tell some some stories right in a moment, but that's the stuff I want to talk to you today. I believe that there's still new opportunities for social ideas, that I believe there are the kind of ideas that moves people nowadays, but in order to do this, we need to develop new skills that very few people, I think, have them right now. So I will use Facebook, and, face and I will show lots of examples as the time as I have here, I've, bring, I've brought here for you guys a lot of examples so you guys can understand not from what I say but from the good work that is it's being done on these platforms. Uh, and this is the kind of work that used to, to represent creativity on Facebook. I don't know if you guys recognize this. So Facebook has an issue. That is something that I'm trying to help with my work and the group of creatives that have joined Facebook, which is showing that Facebook is a creative canvas. 
But the thing is that creatively, this used to be Facebook. And now, Facebook has changed. So this is one example from Nike. So this, this is the ad Nike did on the last World Cup, and this is the ad for the, this World Cup. You see that change, right? Completely change. So this is the change that Facebook had, have had in the past four years alone. And I think, one more time, that we as creatives need to change how we believe uh, we should be building ideas for people nowadays, okay? So this is one good example to prove my point. <coughs> so two years ago, I left Agência Click. I was the chief creative officer in Agência Click, a huge creative uh, and digital agency in Brazil. And I left Agência Click to join Facebook. And I left the agency because of one project that we did, it was, I can say now that I have built a car, okay? And this was a major accomplishment because as you, as you heard uh, Caliso saying that they did a crowdfunding to, to do a record, we did this to build a car, okay? Three years ago. So this project that I still remember the first time that I gave this idea and the client actually bought the idea and we have a problem on delivering the idea. Uh, it was the first time that I actually saw the power of an idea in the hands of people. And this changed completely my, my perception of the work that we, we can do nowadays for brands. And after this project, I, I, I realized that I needed to, to go for something big, for something different. I didn't know that actually it was big. But doing this project, I started to, to think about digital in general. And the way I, I think uh, about digital is more or less like this. Remember when we were in the past thinking about the future? And we think that the future, we will have like cars flying around, and the future would be something amazing and different. And actually, the future is more or less like this, you know, Tesla, motor car, yeah, you know that the guy just released the patents to the people, like we did in the crowdsource car three years ago. We gave away all the project of that car. So the future is not the, the way I think people thought it would be thinking about digital. So let me give you an example. You know the Cannes Festival, the Cannes Awards? Does everyone want to have a lion? So they have a problem now, because the cyber category doesn't make sense anymore, because digital is all over the place, right? So this notion on what it is digital needs to change for creatives, in my opinion. And we have still a lot of people think that the digital is, the, is that kind of future, and I see digital as something embedded in people's life. That is not about building websites, not about creating necessarily a new technology, building the new shiny thing, but in fact it's using digital to go and change people's lives. Okay? Make sense? Yeah. Until now? Yeah. Okay. So let me show you a graph. Uh, I don't like showing graphs very much, but this one is it's one that is really good. Do you guys have an idea what these lines represent? There's a tip, but the picture in the back is Com a tip. Computers, okay. tablets, and smartphones. No. Facebook and Instagram. Facebook no. Or no. <laughs> what? Facebook, or code and other ones. No. These are just four color lines, okay? Uh -huh. no, <laughs> the subway map. The subway map. <laughs> so, let me show you some, some serious stuff over here. This is the time people spend in media places, okay? Time spent. So you can see in the 50s, people listen to the radio, then came TV, right? And then people started watching TV, continued <coughs> listening to radio, and then something happened that in 1995, digital came, and now we are here, 2014, and more 
and people spend more time online than watching TV, okay? This is real data, US. This, is, this happened April this year in the US. This is happening in Brazil, all over the, the countries, okay? Real data. People spend more time in other screens than watching TV, okay? Okay. So that's what is happening. I'm not saying it's good, I'm not saying it's bad. This is just happening, this is data, okay? So the one thing for me, the first thing that I wanna share with you guys is that we live over here, okay? We cannot, we cannot hide this from our careers and our work. And the two things, the, so two things for me that are really important. The first one, you see that we have some people, some professionals, that used to work with traditional media, and now they're doing digital, right? Yeah. Most of us, you probably, me, a few people over here, okay. And there are kind of people that come from digital and begin it's his or her career in digital, right? A few folks over here. So there's one thing. We, we cannot, so my, my thing with this is that this is incremental. The stuff that you have learned here, you can use in this new world, okay? So there are two things that I believe that are the most important thing, regardless of the medium, regardless of you believe it or not, if you're creating a script for TV, if you're building something for digital, there are two things that remains the same, gravely speaking. Who wanna guess? Really easy, the tips are on the screen. Story. First one, storytelling, right? This will never change, never change. We learned this from TV, building, creating stories for TV, right? We need to keep doing this in the in the work that we do today, sometimes people forget that. <clears throat> the, the hardest thing for young creatives that I have, I have experienced in my creative teams is that they don't have this background. They think they can only start from digital. No, we, we should learn the, the storytelling stuff that come before us, okay? The guys that did the best TV commercial, we need to drink that the same stuff that those guys drank, okay? But there's another thing that digital bring us to this new skill. What it is? Collaboration. We'll talk a little bit of, about collaboration. But craft, that we can resonate with art, but the craft and not innovation. A lot of people think that digital is about innovation. It's not about innovation. Digital is about craft. It's understanding the medium that you work and build an idea that only can work on that particular environment, okay? Digital brought these skills for creatives. So at least, minimum, if you want to succeed as a creative, I believe you should work on both skills. But this is basic, okay? Basic, storytelling and craft. I want to I wanna present to you guys now two skills, the, the next two skills that I think you guys should have, okay? I will not talk about storytelling and not about craft because I believe you guys can learn from better people than me about this. Just be advised that this is really important, okay? But during this, this time over here, a few years ago, something changed inside this show. I work with it, with digital since 1995, 97. You want me to say this out loud? <laughs> I started really young, 10 <laughs> years old. No. And we used to be, and digital was about building websites, okay? Building stuff, creating banners, okay? We did tons of this stuff <laughs> to learn our stuff. But something happened over here. Do you know what happened over here? Huh? No, no mobile. We are before mobile. You know what happened over here in 19, uh, 2007? Facebook, Facebook, all this kind of stuff that we call 
platforms, okay? And there's one particular skill that I believe that I want to present to you guys now related to platforms that I think you should put beside as important as storytelling and craft, okay? And let me tell you a story. 2004, we had tsunami in Asia, okay? February 2004, the same month that <coughs> Facebook was born. When I was researching this some time ago, I learned that Orkut began in January 2004. And look what happened. And look where we are. So this was a particular time, 2004. And this was the first Facebook. Facebook was, the, the, the promise of Facebook was really easy, really easy, really straightforward. You can find your uh, Stanford friend, uh, your Harvard friends, you can search uh, their lives, you can find the, the classes there they go, you can know about their birthday, and that's it. You can get okay? a date. Huh? You can get a date. You can get a date, yeah. So you that was Facebook. About a date. No. <laughs> And 10 years after, Facebook is this, okay? Facebook is in every pocket. Facebook has changed their interface, but it's the same premise, which is, it's all about people. It's all about people. We can change everything on the interface, we can change everything on the systems, we can change the algorithm, whatever, but what will never change is that Facebook's about people. And let me, sh let me tell you what it, the, the implications we have. 10 years, 2004, 2014. In 10 years, what happened is that when you, I like when brands think that they build, that they can build platforms. A lot of ideas be, begun like, I will build a platform for a brand. I will have a brand platform, blah, blah, blah. But the real platform, other platforms will put people first. Where all the players of the platform have the same powers, have the same voice. And usually, a brand platform is a lot like this. It's a platform for brands to speak, right? So what happened on Facebook during these 10 years, while we were changing, people were publishing lots and lots of information, okay? The amount of information that every year we have on Facebook doubles and triples. There's a lot of information on this platform because we handle this to people, right? When, when we were doing the, the crowdsource car, the problem that we had is that we invited people to build a car and people came. And so we need to talk to these people. We need to, to hear their ideas. We need to give back the, the, we need to, to give the feedback for them. Otherwise, they would leave that platform. If you don't put everyone, everyone at the same level, with the same power, with the same influence on the work that you plan to build together, the platform crashes and not everyone uses the platform anymore, okay? So because of this, because people were producing a lot of information, we had a problem in 2009. The problem was, was really hard to find the stuff that I was looking for. Because in 2004, I entered Facebook, I wanna see some information about you, I went into your page. But then, I had so much friends over there, I was not going to do this for 50 friends, 100 friends, 200 friends. We need to change the flow of information. We no longer go to the information, we make information rich people, okay? <coughs> And because of this, we created what we call the newsfeed. You know newsfeed? The place that nowadays is the synonym of Facebook. So this was the first newsfeed. We only publish stuff that we did on Facebook. So this is the, the, the newsfeed from Zuck, okay? So you see, David uploaded a, a, a photo. James created a group. Uh, Brandon joined the group. Jim, think about giants, whatever. But we we realized that people wanted to do more stuff regardless of Facebook, and then we build this stuff that people nowadays. When you think about Facebook, you 
you think of this, right? So this is Facebook for a lot of people. All this stuff that you do, all the information near you, we need to make sure that you find on the newsfeed, okay? But what happens is that we have now these tons of information, okay? That line keeps growing. So the implication for you guys now, or for a brand now, or for someone now, let me come back over here, is that everything you do as a campaign, as a content, competes with everything that has been done, okay? Because when you're on Facebook, you have the choice of watching an amazing film, on, or go on Netflix, or stay on Facebook, right? So your campaign, so think about this. I have my friends on Facebook, right? I have the brands I follow on Facebook. They all compete for my attention. So you, as a creative that is producing a campaign or a content for a brand, you need to be as interesting and as my best friend. Because you have no guarantee anymore of my attention as a consumer. So the, the storytelling and the craft builds upon this, okay? If it has an amazing story, people will listen to it regardless if you are a brand or not. But you need to give me the best that you can because I have amazing content over here. If Facebook has no good content, I will watch Game of Thrones, right? Yes. Online. Yes. So you are competing with Games of Thrones as a creative. You need, if you think of a script, you need to write a script as good as a Game of Thrones episode. That's craft. That's storytelling. Good luck. Okay? I'm too old for that anyway. <laughs> so when I when I celebrated two years of Facebook, I had 300 likes on my page posts. It was a difficult day for brands to talk with me because all my friends were receiving my my status updates. Okay? Mm -hmm. When my friends feel loved on Facebook, it's hard for brands to talk with them because you know people share love on Facebook. Okay? <laughs> when my friend takes an amazing picture of his kids and just update their cover photo, it's real hard to talk with him. When a friend of ours is releasing a book in Brazil, a lot of people will hear about this. And it will be tough to talk with me this day because I'm listening to this story over here. Do you know, do you get the, the point? We need to be better creatives nowadays. There's space for us, but we need to play our best game. It's not the average one anymore. That we, that I think we could play in digital because there, there was no audience in our websites. We, you are not competing with anyone building a website. Now you are competing with the best content and people if you want to make a campaign for a school, for example. You are competing when my friend dress up and is feeling nice and want to share her look. Okay? You are competing with her. You are competing with regular people like Brandon who does Humans of New York. Do you know this page, right? Yes. You are competing every time Brandon is on the streets taking pictures with people and trying to find good stories with great crafts. What well, You are competing with him. You are competing with a friend of mine that she has a pig instead of a cat or a dog. The name of the pig is Hamon the pig. Hamon was featured in Mashable, in Huffington Post. Huh? Yeah. You need to beat him. You need to be as good as Hamon, or the guy who does the, the content for Hamon, right? So, Platform is not, this is not only for Facebook. I'm, I'm, I'm using Facebook as the, the, the example, but platforms in general give this ability of 
putting people in a, a good platform, to put everyone at the same level. Twitter does this, okay? Pinterest does this, uh, whatever, Instagram. So this is one interesting thought that I had before presenting the skill that I think you should, you should have to work with platforms, which is, first, you need to defeat your audience. You need to be better than they. Then you can seduce them. Then you can connect. Then you can engage. You will not engage if you don't defeat them as an audience, okay? As a, 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 a content producer, okay? You get this. You cannot play your average game anymore. So the skill you need to have that works with storytelling and craft is really be people-centric. I know that this is a this is a, it's not a nice word, it's not a creative word, but that's the word that I chose for you to understand what I mean, which is you need to put people in front of your idea. Your idea needs to change if people demands that you change your idea, okay? You need to consider how people will interact with your idea regardless if it's a good story or if it's done on an amazing craft. You need to to bring people to your creative process sometimes. I'm not saying testing your ideas, I, I mean caring about people, okay? I will show some examples, okay? Questions? Disagree? You can disagree, please. Yeah, we can turn like this a on a conversation, yeah, yeah. please. Uh, no, it's not no, 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 no. If I, if I use, okay, you okay, should. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, but in the same way, I think that it's more personal. Like, you have your friend recommending your brand. If you are good and make a really good advertisement, we're gonna have the best revisors and recommend recommenders of the planet. Because it's like my mom, my father, my best friend. And it's like the feature that you can just tag a pe uh, person it's really amazing because this it's like much more easier to connect your your like your whole market. It, it's easier to find this market. Totally agree with you. So, but sometimes creators don't don't go for the simple ideas. Creators don't yeah. go to the. If people can tag each other over here, I'm gonna do an idea to take advantage of this feature. Nowadays, especially people that came from digital. They want to build their own tagging idea. You know? So the platforms bring this notion of your friend, your brother, if he believes in a brand, he's the best seller of this brand yeah. to you, right? It's like the new mouth mouth by mouth. New mouth by word. Yeah, word of mouth. Yeah. yeah. Totally. So let me show you some examples of good creative ideas that I have seen on this platform that has some features and you can understand through examples. So these are all good creative examples on Facebook, okay? So we have the facial profiler from, from Coke Zero some years ago. People use Facebook to connect and get their picture, just this. And people were praising doing this online, okay? Uh, and I explained this, you can use people as a layer to your idea, right? You can go to Facebook and, and bring stuff from people to make your idea more connected to them. That's one way of doing it. I think that's the old, the old way of doing it, but it works, okay? So when you match, there was this idea from Pedigree, when you match the dog from, what, which was the best dog that matches your face? There was a BBDO print campaign from, from a month, from I think 10 years ago, that did this on a print. This is the, the, new, uh, the new way of presenting this kind of idea, for example. So if a system say to you, because of your picture, the shape of your face, this is the dog they should have, you, you feel connected to this idea better than going through an exit, okay? because it's still for you. So the Pepsi idea, they give you know products if you like, the, the page. 
O over sacrifice, do you remember this idea? Genius idea. Broke Facebook. Facebook took the idea out of of the platform because it was prohibited. I love this idea. But that's putting people first. The idea was saying the platform should, should change. Okay, that was a gimmick on the platform. Amazing idea. People went crazy about this. You know, I was just saying, what, what was the campaign? So, over sacrifice. Uh, so the idea was, so Burger King, you know, so this was created by Chris Porter. They were saying, if you give away 10 friends, if you want friend 10 people, oh. I give you a, a, a free whopper. A free whopper. Oh. Because so the friends are this. not real, they're just on Facebook. Oh, so it's like an and a whopper is for real. So Facebook was saying, no, oh. we, we are a platform so people can get together. You're saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want friend, <laughs> we give you a whopper. Screw Burger King. <laughs> So Facebook was a little mad about this idea. I was not there, but I love this idea. So let me show you one idea that Nestle did, I think this year in Europe, that plays with this notion of putting people first on your idea. One more time, look for the storytelling, look for the craft, but look for the, the people layer on this idea. Je l'avais demandé en ami et depuis on a en fait on n'avait jamais échangé. Bonjour. Bonjour. Nous sommes amis Facebook, mm -hmm. tous les deux. Que je ne connais pas. Hein. D'ailleurs, vous ne le connaissez pas. On s'entendait très très bien quand on était gamin. Et puis après, forcément, bah, la vie veut que les chemins se séparent un peu. Et... <rire> ah, non, <rire> tu me reconnais tout de suite. <rire> moi, ça fait trois ans que je suis partie en Suède et je trouvais ça génial qu'il vienne jusqu'à un café avec moi. <rire> quand il est arrivé, qu'on s'est revu, oui, là, on s'est redécouvert, on s'est reposé des questions qu'on ne se serait jamais posées sur Facebook. On s'est bien marré parce qu'il avait, avait peur de lui. Ah, C'était génial d'avoir fait ça avec lui. Ça je trouve que chacun de nous devrait faire ça au moins une fois dans sa vie. Et... social idea you see that the brand fits perfectly on this idea and you're putting you're making people share the cup of coffee because they're meeting each other simple as that and how you can build upon the idea making a promotion making crowdsource whatever because you have a simple idea good story great craft okay and people first are you guys tired yeah. no we're good yeah. I won't take one So, putting people inside your idea for me is the first level. There's a second level on this skill of people-centric, which is make it personal for, for one people, for one person. Make it real, really personal. Like I'm talking with Hafa on this idea. And make, it, make someone experience like it's 
from them, from the audience, for the audience. Do you know the museum of me from Intel? Great idea. So all these ideas, you can go online. We have a, a gallery on Facebook. You can see all the, all the other examples over here. Museum of Me was this kind of idea. You hit a button and you watch an amazing storytelling, amazing craft, and you are watching yourself inside a museum. Okay. So the skill that we have from advertising from decades before, we can still use nowadays. We should use them. So another one, this is a new one from MSC International, which is you enter on their application on Facebook and you experience your life as if you're living in a country where going to a party with 10 friends give you five years in prison. So very personal because it gets your data from Facebook and make the message for you. Sometimes we as creative, we need to step aside. It's not about our script, it's about the machine, the story machine we build so people can enter and experience the message that we want to build, okay? We have Coke is Beautiful, amazing example from White and Kennedy and Facebook VC on the Super Bowl in the US. Uh, try my hybrid, Norway. But I want to show you one idea that we did on Facebook that I think that you guys have seen that for me was one of the best examples of the personal thing. We struggle as creatives to build stuff for the Facebook brand. We're trying to do more. But this is so far the best campaign that we have ever done on Facebook. The campaign is what we call Look Back. We did this when we turned 10 this year. And I want to show you my Look Back video. Okay. <laughs> step aside and give your ideas so people can get them and and I didn't edit this so Facebook knows when I talk about my my dad my kids I have more engagement people resonate more with this with this kind of message so it's very personal and we can do this for our brands so this is one skill that is really important for us to try to to master okay sometimes you need to bring your idea and, and let people flow through your idea. And putting people first, sometimes you need to build something as a utility. A utility, like for example, Dove has this new campaign from them that they enable you on Facebook to change the ads that you don't like for ads that you like. That's, that's a tool. There is something you build. So I don't want to see those right-hand side uh, ads on Facebook that talk about, I don't know, soccer, if I don't like soccer. So you can change that. So giving this power to people, make people engage more with Dove on Facebook. There is the Nike Academy, amazing campaign. You, you should check the Nike Academy, for example. Uh, but I want to show you one idea from Cartwheel, so car, so Target in the US, you know, very tough brand to work on. What we built for them was a utility. So look what we did for them. This is a story about an app that killed the coupon. And this is Kate, she's frugal, very frugal. I mean, I do like a good deal. Seeing cat photos online makes her smile. 
seeing people wear cap sweaters makes her laugh. And seeing a coupon makes her happy. Like many, Kay relies on her coupons to save money. And for businesses, they've been relying on them since 1887. Couponing is possibly the most wasteful form of marketing. 305 billion coupons are given out each year. Whoa! And 99% of them go unredeemed. The worst part? 13 million trees are destroyed. That's a lot of trees. Target Facebook believed there was a better way to deliver the same benefits in reach of a coupon. Introducing Target Cartwheel. Coupons are more personalized, neatly organized, and easily accessible. Use it to search for items you want. <laughs> Just click the scanner option to find offers in stores. A single barcode is then generated for all offers you've added in your cart. Check out what your friends have bought. <laughs> Share your deals on Facebook, prompting new product discoveries and conversations. Did I mention it's a free app? I likes me some free. And use the same offer over and over. I will. Getting here wasn't simple. It was a two-year journey with hundreds of people involved, working around the clock to integrate Facebook's platform with Target's point-of-sale system. After its launch, Target Cartwheel had a million users. In a matter of months, it had reached two million. And in just six months, an astounding five million people were using Target Cartwheel. Netflix and Nike Plus took years to achieve the same results. Over half of Cartwheel users are millennials, like Kay, notoriously impossible to connect with. 99% of Cartwheel users who do it do it again. And that's why this is the app that killed the coupon. And Kay isn't the only one who's happy with this. Trees are saved. No more clipping, no more planning, just saving. Thanks for watching. So sometimes an idea is not sexy, but makes your clients sell more. Five million people using your idea every day. It's not an idea that it you publish and then two weeks later it's gone. Two years of using your idea, generating, saving money. Sometimes it's about putting people first. Sometimes it's about this, you know? Sometimes the idea is not sexy. So this three skills is the, the least you should have as creatives nowadays, in my opinion, okay? Master storytelling. Work on your craft, keep working, you need to, and also put people first. So let me show you how this, in a few examples, I want to show this for real, the stuff that you can do right now, okay? <laughs> few examples. Do you remember this yeah. campaign? The non-Brazilians won't. Sorry? The non-Brazilians will not know. So you need to okay, explain. so I, will, I have a video case that explain better than me. But this this idea came from uh, a, a creative director here from Brazil, Hugo Katze, friend of ours. So one more time, what Fefo was selling here, the connections. So I went to have a, a coffee with Google. And I, in the last year, I think I had like 10 coffees with Google to explain one single idea that I, I think that creatives need to understand nowadays, which is the power of a single post on Facebook. Because people think that I will not work on Facebook. No, doing, this is social media. Social media is for interns. I wanna do the big stuff. I wanna do the films. I wanna do the interactive. I wanna do uh, the programming part of the, the idea. I don't care about page posts. So, I was for months having this coffee with Google, explaining Google, you need to understand the power of a page post. The first time he was saying, you're kidding me, Alpha. come on, what, what were you going to, why did you join Facebook? Go back to your say, please. And then one day, after this, on the day of this campaign, I received an SMS on my cell phone. And this is the, the actual SMS I received from Google. So the, the SMS, I will translate for you guys. Hello, bro. Did you see the noise that we generated with a single post? Bro, the numbers are amazing. When I received this SMS on May 6th, I said, I have my award over here. I did something really important, which is showing a top creative which is from 
the guy who knows storytelling, the guy who knows craft, understand the, the power of putting people first, then sometimes you just need to have one idea. The idea needs to be good, needs to be in the right moment, and this is the idea, explain better. Barcelona's 3-2 victory over Villarreal last night was marred by an incident when a banana was thrown at the Brazilian Dani Alves. It happened as the Barca fullback prepared to take a corner. He responded by picking it up, taking a bit, and eating it. A quickly constructed campaign followed, led in particular by the Brazilian footballer Neymar. He tweeted out this picture shortly afterwards. Craque Neymar, que joga com Daniel Alves no Barcelona, publicou uma foto ao lado do filho e escreveu. Somos todos macacos. Player received plenty of support on social media under the hashtags We're All Monkeys and Say No to Racism. I have to say, he's made this point incredibly well indeed. That's not true. That's not true. Somos felizes. Somos todos macacos. Number of other players and people within the football community have done the same. Somos animados quando a gente soube que era uma ação que hoje Eles tiveram ajuda ou não para essa reação? A mim não incomoda nem um pouco. A gente vê o mundo inteiro discutindo isso, jogadores do mundo todo, pessoas do mundo inteiro falando sobre isso. I love when I watch the, the video case the first time and there was the expression, one single post. That was the message, I had 10 meetings to put inside his head, but now he understand and that's one thing that regardless if you, we like it or not, Facebook in Brazil reaches 90 million people, 90 million people. For some audiences in Brazil, we cannot reach, even with TV, this amount of people. And we still think, some creators still think that a single post, I will give to the interns. Okay? We should embrace the new technology. Sometimes it's not the way we used to do before, but the skill is still over there. The storytelling, the craft, and putting people's first. Okay? So let me give you some examples of this notion of the power of this platform. So I want to show some good examples on, of creative that touches these skills. Do you know brands on Facebook that do stuff like this? I don't know if you work with this, but nowadays people are trying to, so for example, I have to do a page post with four uh, character, four features of my cell phone so people can understand that it's a good cell phone. But when you tell a story like this, people get it. Do you see the difference? If I show you this page post and say, imagine a cartoon, which cartoon is this? This one. This one. You see that I can play with your imagination with a single page post? Okay. Do you know GoPro? Three billion dollar brand on Nasdaq today. Three billion dollar brand. Here's a GoPro over here. And what they do every day is sell stories and they're putting people first saying, if we you use my product, you can have the, the photo of the day is your symbol as this. Come on, really simple, right? The idea is photo of the day. And then one day, they do a post like this, and the text from the post is, would you go? And my question for you, you are on your cell phone, you receive this message saying, would you go? How you react? You think, right? 
huh? You press play at the right moment, like I did when I saw these patients. And then you enter the storytelling. You go into the story. You put yourself into the story. You react to it, right? You have you feel something in your stomach, right? sign your film and you as a consumer what do you, do you think what is your reaction it's not I want to join it is I want to buy right because you're buying the lifestyle you're buying the story behind the camera that's what we do we should be doing look what it is putting people first with a single page post when Nike was trying to release before the World Cup their new boots on Brazil. When you think about Brazil and soccer, you think about Neymar, right? But when you look at the Facebook data, you see that the kids that really buy, that plays three times a week, they care about Cristiano Ronaldo. So if you don't, if you go through Neymar to talk professionally in Brazil, maybe you will not be so successful as if you use Cristiano Ronaldo. And then, you create this page post. Here is the new boots. This is the new weapon from CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo. Already on the, the stores, you can click or you can watch the film. What you as a team will do? Watch the film, right? Okay, you're on a mobile phone. <laughs> The soundtrack, the story. You see, it's it's on purpose, the, the sound, because the kid thinks he can be the next Cristiano Ronaldo, so give him the stage, right? The second one. Eight seconds. That's it, because kids will not watch more than this on their mobile phones, right? So your message needs to fit their, their device. Why do it 30 seconds? You don't need that anymore. Put people first. They ask for an 8-second film. Do an 8-second film, okay? And this one, for me, and one more time, what I'm trying to, to show here is that behind this single page fold, there's a big idea. A bigger idea. So don't fall for the stuff of doing a page post on Facebook is for interns. It's a simple stuff. I need to do a page post every day. No, you don't need to do one every day. Do one. So I have one brand from Argentina that they do one a month. But it's the best fucking page post when they post everyone interacts with. So this one. It's from Wendy's in the US. They're releasing a new, a new sandwich. Look what they did. Putting people first. They play with the name of the product. Because when you think about this, <coughs> the guys said, well, people will not react well with the name of the product. Let's play with this. Introducing Wendy's new bacon portobello melt on Brioche. Brioche. Okay. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Exactly. How do you help sell a hamburger that customers are intimidated to order because they have difficulty pronouncing its very name? We decided to turn our challenge into our solution. Social communities love being the smartest one in the comment box by pointing out any mistake, especially a mistake made by a well-known brand. Knowing this, we decided to butcher the pronunciation of our sandwich's signature bun before anyone else could. 
You'll be delighted with Wendy's latest culinary offering for those of us with a more refined palate. Behold, the bacon portobello melt on briarchy. Ah. Liberté, égalité, briarchy. Yeah. The comments, okay. shares, and as anticipated corrections flooded in. Not only were people enthusiastically pointing out the mistake and sharing it with their Facebook friends, but they were also educating other Wendy's fans on the proper pronunciation of our new fancy bun. Now that the conversation was in full swing, we coyly stoked the fire and teased that there would be a second video, a retraction video of sorts. Hello again. I understand there's been some controversy surrounding my pronunciation of a certain French style of bun used in Wendy's bacon portobello melt. While indeed it may have seemed to some listeners that I might have said, eh, brioche, <laughs> when anyone of taste and breeding knows the proper continental pronunciation being brioche. There. I hope that settles matters for you. Actually, it didn't clear up anything. But as planned, even more engagement followed. Many praised Wendy's for sabotaging our own campaign. Others were still trying to correct us. Either way, people were talking, with over 1.7 million total post engagements in only a few short weeks. In the end, the word brioche was demystified, and people were ordering the new sandwich in droves. And that's how you get people talking about, and ordering, something they can't even pronounce. Okay, so, you see the story telling on Facebook? So have you written a film only for one post for your clients? We should. We should show them that we need to produce this, because people are spending their time on this platform, right? If you believe on this graph, People is spending their time on these platforms. We should bring here our best stories, our best craft, okay? So, to finish my presentation, I, I, I wanna show the, the last skill that I think everyone should have. And it's related to mobile, okay? To the, the moment we live now. So this stuff that I showed to you, I expect you guys to have already, okay? If this is new for you, okay, I won't tell anyone, but hurry, okay? This is, this should be your game right now. But the new stuff is related to mobile phones. And we are on the early stages of this. I have one example to show you, which makes one interesting opportunity for you guys. What is the best ad on Facebook? Anyone can explain me what is the best ad on Facebook? The profile picture. The profile picture? So the best ad on Facebook is a very tough question to answer besides the profile picture, which is an ad. Uh, and I have pitched this idea for a client. I'm expecting them to approve, and it's a good one. See? Yeah. You should hire me. I'm really good. I'll, uh, I will <laughs> think on your case. You know, I'm very expensive, though. You what are you? I don't know. We can negotiate. Let's try. I don't know. I don't know. Facebook is really rich. Buy me a beer. The app on the phone. So, the best ad on Facebook is related to the context you're in. And the mobile phone will give us as a skill for creatives. Okay? When our stories are the, good, the best ones for me, done by amazing craft, and it talks with the place I mean, the city I'm in, the mood I'm in, that will be the fucking best set on Facebook, okay? We can do this, but it, it's not, uh, we are not ready as creatives yet. And this is what the mobile phone will bring us. So in Brazil already, more people use Facebook on mobile phones than on desktop, okay? They come here, so, we have more than six, more than 52 million people that comes every day on Facebook in Brazil. That's crazy. 
and all over the world, all over the world, the, 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 the cell phone is the main interface. And our ideas are not ready for the context we are in. Let me show you one example that, my, that a client just <coughs> approved. And we are running this in Mexico. Uh, we ran this last week as a test. And we are putting, so this is what, I'm exp what I mean by context. What we will do is, if people say that they are happy, I'm going to give them a film of a cup being from sad to happy. Bye-bye. Did I need to wait for me to turn my back? You can leave, no problem. So again, if people feel that they are loved, the idea changed. If people say that they are sad, the idea changed, okay? We're doing this for the first time ever on the platform. Very simple, but that's the, the new stuff which is playing with the context, playing with the moves, playing with the weather, playing with the device, playing with the city, playing whatever the context where people will engage with your idea. And then I come back to your point is, look at the cell phone. I come back to your point, which is the second screen for me. That was on Facebook, sorry. I know, I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, the second screen for me is a context. I need to, if I understand that people is watching this program or watching the World Cup, my ideas should change. But we need to keep telling story, doing amazing craft, and putting people in front of the idea. If we, if we master these four skills, I think that there's, that's the best thing that a creator should have nowadays. Not only the technical stuff, uh, but mastering the, the old stuff, if you may. Okay, so that's my message. You see, one hour in point. <laughs> Four skills from the past into the future. It's with you. Nobody has this because I invented this four things. But the roots of the new creative is already here. Okay, and this stuff you can apply. For example, for Instagram, I haven't talked about Instagram because I have a gift for only the people who are staying at the... For the next one. At the, the house, okay? Oh, for the, okay, we'll, we'll put it on their beds afterwards. No, I'm gonna give now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, so I wanna show you, so FIFA will give it to you. So we have a book, very difficult to get because we don't sell this. So we explain how to have ideas for Instagram, for brands. And I don't get one? I have one for you. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 So I have a few. But please, first for the people yes, sir. on the, the house, okay? And then, and I have more stuff from Facebook and gifts here, and you can share with everyone. But this will also work for Instagram. And in my opinion, Instagram is a brand new platform that we will need to work on these four skills, and nobody has mastered Instagram as a platform yet. So amazing opportunities for creatives nowadays. And that's my message. I hope that you believe in some of the story that I told you. And you use this to be very successful. And I'm waiting for, for your ideas. Thank you very much.